Okay, cool. Um, all right, you guys, thanks so much for getting on tonight. Um, I'm really, really super excited to be taking notes on this call as well. Um, Megan is going to be uh, sharing all about how to share your story authentically. Um, she's going to do a great training on that. And then at the end, we can ask questions if we have them. She and I met in one of the other Beachbody groups, the wall or the study group, one of the two. And she is an incredible leader. I got the pleasure of hosting her team call um, a week ago. And when she said that she was going to host ours, I got really excited. Um, she's a seven star diamond in her first business center, two star in her second diamond in her third business center. She's a success club 10 legend and her team was a elite team last year so she knows her stuff and yeah i'm super excited if you guys just as you're jumping on just mute um your lines so she can roll on with everything and then um we'll open it up at the end cool okay awesome. awesome cool all right any is that it you want me to just go cool go all right yep. great Awesome. Um, hi guys. Yeah, I'm really excited to talk on your call. Um, Carly was amazing and it sparked a whole volume training that we're now doing. So our team is very grateful for that call. So thank you so much. I'm just happy I can repay it. Um, and I've actually, this is the third team call that I've guest spoken on with this topic and um, it's just gone over really, really well. And it's something I'm really passionate about. Um, and I've been in this business actually for four and a half years now. Um, but the first couple years, I was very inconsistent. I was very in and out. Um, and I didn't have um, the confidence in myself to do this. And I just was very inconsistent. So I wasn't seeing results. It wasn't until um, I kind of hit rock bottom in the job I was doing and saw the potential of this that I really started to treat it like a business and things just took off from there. It's been about two years of real consistent work. Um, so if you're someone who's kind of feels like they've gotten a slow start, just know you can so change the course of your business at any time. And um, this topic that I'm going to talk on specifically, I'm in a, um, a, it's called Building Your Legacy Mentorship Program with Josh Coates, and it's amazing. I highly recommend it. And he did a team, or he did a call uh, about three weeks ago, and I'm pretty much going to recap the call that he did, and it just totally... Um, just rocked my world, honestly, to, to put, I don't know how else to put it. Um, and it's funny that the, all these years that I've been coaching, I thought I knew exactly who I was speaking to. I thought I knew exactly what my passion was and my purpose. And then I watched this call and I'm like, oh, now I know. And I could finally put it into words. So if you feel like you don't know exactly, like you know your why, but you don't know exactly in, in words like what the struggles you've been through, how they can serve others and how you can put that into words and make really great posts from that. That's what we're going to talk about because I think that's something a lot of people struggle with. I know my team struggles with having successful posts and feeling really authentic about it. So, um, you know, some people, I'm just going to warn you, do get a little teary eyed on calls like these. I know I did when I was watching the call. So that's, that's great though, honestly. The more vulnerable you get, the more you put yourself out there with this kind of stuff, the better your business will be. Um, and I think it goes really well in line with this national wake-up call because Anita Myron, I think, is such an amazing example of someone who really puts herself out there. So um, I will provide these slides also. Um, Carly, I'll give these to you so you guys can watch this. This is the video that... Um, the YouTube video recording from the call that I watched. It's two hours, but it is so worth it. It's so, so, so worth it. Um, so I definitely recommend watching it if you can. And it just pretty much what I'm going to summarize, but he really just puts, um, he really just explains things very well. And again, I'm going to summarize it, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth the watch. And so some things we're going to do in this call, I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible, but I do want to make it a little interactive. So um, I'm going to have you guys write what's called your tagline, which you'll totally understand in a couple of slides, and then your rough draft post. We're not going to write that on the call because that's something you want to do privately and you want to take time to do, but just know that leaving this, you're going to have some action steps, which is something I really am um, passionate about. Otherwise, it's so easy to come to calls like this and then not actually apply anything you learn. I know I've fallen into that trap. So, um, so just know that that's going to be some of your action steps at the end. So one thing he did that I really loved was he kind of made this analogy I'd never heard before, which is comparing a lot of coaches to cover bands. Um, so I'm actually an actor and a singer as well. And um, I know for a fact that this is very true that a lot of cover bands are more talented than musicians 
than our more talented musicians than the people that you hear on the radio. Um, but cover bands never took the time to find their own voice and create their own brand identity. Um, and think about rock stars that you just idolize or movie or movie um, or actors or celebrities or honestly celebrity trainers or top coaches, things like that. You want to be like them. You want to have your picture taken with them. You look up to them. You idolize them. And why? It's because they found their own voice. And he said 80 to 90% of Beachbody coaches are cover bands because they never took the time to find their own voice. And I just really liked how he put that. And it's really true. I know for me, the person that I idolized was Janelle Summers when I started. And I still do. I still think she's incredible. However, I can't um, I can't take her post and try to make it mine and, and it'll have the same effect. It's just not, I'm not her, no matter how much I look up to her and I would love to emulate her and, and have any, any portion of her success in the business. We're different people. So she can inspire me, but I can't copy her. And I know so many of my coaches who get stuck in that, um, trying to copy. So cover bands are guaranteed pay, but they're limited in how far they can go. They'll never be famous. They'll never have their name on an album, get any type of award, be recognized, and they'll never make a great living. It's a very safe way to live. It's, there's no risk involved, but you can't go any further than that. And so many coaches have found someone else in the company that they love and admire, and they try to copy them their entire career. They want to look, sound, and be like them, and they keep trying to figure out, why is this person such a rock star? Why is this working for me? Because you're a cover band. You're not taking the time to find your own voice. So I really want you during this call and after to dig in and find out what your real passion is. Um, one thing he said is when he asks people what their why is or what they're passionate about, they say, well, I like to work out, and I want to help other people be happy. That's kind of a cop out. It's a very generic answer. And even though that's totally part of this, you can have a business. Um, you can help, sorry, you can help people without having a business. With this business, we have to help people in order to succeed. It's an amazing part of this business, but you don't need a business to help people. So there has to be something beyond that to, to fuel you and to kind of fill your passion. Um, so I really want you guys to just take one minute and uh, write down, and I, I encourage you to write in the, in the comment box, in the chat box, and be interactive in this call. Um, what do you and your ideal customer actually value? Uh, is it confidence? Is it self-esteem, self-worth, self-actualization, an awesome family life? What is the thing that your potential customers actually care about? What are they thinking about? What do they need to change their life? Is needing to lose weight, getting healthier, the thing that keeps them up at night? Or is it what caused the weight gain? Um, what's their pain point? What's the thing that they're worried about and they're stressed about? If you fail to find their pain, you're going to fail to get paid. That's something he said that I just loved. It's really talked about that pain point. If all you talk about is your workouts, meal prep, and Shakeology, whose pain are you really speaking to? All that stuff is great, but the whole point of this call is so that you're going to have some more um, – some more confidence in posting of things beyond workouts, beyond meal prep, because that's not why someone's going to join you. It's going to be for something that they see in you that they feel like they already have inside of them. So take one minute and just write down a list of things that you and your customer actually value. Guys, these are awesome. And Jen, definitely save that. Everyone save everything you're typing, but that's, um, that's actually going to be a really good tagline um, depending on uh, what you've went through, but feeling comfortable enough in their skin to not worry about outside opinions. So that's awesome. Save that. Um, okay, great. Guys, these are, these are really good. I'm going to move on though, just for time's sake. Um, so I want you to think back to before you started your journey. Uh, think back to what you were going through and the pain point that you had that made you finally sign up and said, I'm going all in. What was really that trigger for you that made you start Beachbody? Um, and these are some examples that uh, people gave during the call that he, he hosted, and most of them are very extreme. So don't think that just because yours isn't necessarily as tragic or as extreme as this that it's not valuable. Mine wasn't nearly like this. Mine was, um, just to be quite honest, mine was I, I dove into P90X because I was contemplating breaking up with someone and I just needed to distract myself to be quite honest. Um, and it was a great distraction. It was some, something I could use as an escape. That's not nearly as extreme as losing a family member to a heart attack. So whatever yours is, write that down. If you want to share in the chat box, I really encourage that, but just take two minutes, think and write and share in the chat box. What was that, that defining moment that made you jump into Beachbody and say, I need to make a change.
Carly, Beth, and Christina save those. Those are awesome taglines. These are going to be great. So um, yeah, if you guys want to keep keep typing, I'm going to just keep going, but definitely um, just think about that. And I know it's sometimes hard to share, but again, the more vulnerable you, more vulnerable you get, the better your posts are going to be, the more you're going to connect with the person that you really connect with and you're going to, you're just going to get each other. Yeah, these are, these are great guys. Um, okay. So one thing he said, um, very bluntly, he said, cut the crap. It's not about moms getting abs. It's about getting real with people, how we have been hurt, how we've been changed and how we are on a mission to change the world around us. Once you get through some kind of horror that happened to you, and again, it doesn't have to be super extreme, but in your world, it was a big deal. You have an absolute mandate to turn around and help other people who are going through the same thing as you and help other people who have been in that situation now. We are finding our passion, and when we find our passion, we begin to fulfill our purpose. Think about how amazingly fulfilling it will be to help someone get over or get through something that you went through. That's something you can identify with. Um, when we find our passion, we find our brand, our niche, we find our content, and we absolutely remove all competition. And I loved this part about it. He said, as long as you're just another beach body coach selling 21 day fix, cause it's on sale. Um, as long as that's what you're doing, you're just going to be in competition with everyone else. The second you begin to dive into your passion, that's when you start to speak to a very specific person that only you can relate to. You become a motivator and a mentor for them. So when I was going through this and I, I really wrote out my story, that's I realized I used to tell people, well, I started P90X because I, I felt weak and I didn't feel strong and I just hit a plateau. That's not why I started it. I started it as an escape so I could avoid something I knew I had to do for over a year. And that was really hard to admit and share in social media. But the second I did, I found so many other people who used as exercise as an escape and they were able to just totally, um, you know, just escape a really hard time in their life, whether it's a breakup or a loss of a loved one, it doesn't matter. Um, and that hit home for me. And this happened literally three weeks ago. So again, if you've been in this for a while um, and you're, you know, you're starting to really dig deep here, I, I promise the more you dig deep and the more honest you are about your real reasons, even though it's terrifying to share, the more you're going to connect with people and just the more genuine business you're going to have. Um, so um, one thing I love doing before I write posts, whether it's Facebook ads, especially I had a couple of Facebook ads that I did in the beginning of when I started ads and they just tanked, they were horrible. Cause I literally copied and pasted and then tried to edit someone's that was successful. It was not the way to do it. And so I started using the voice memo on my phone and just walking around my apartment and speaking out loud my story and what I wanted to get across. So take one minute and I want you to just speak into a phone or speak into a, um, a messenger on Facebook. If that's the only thing you have right now, what did you feel like before you joined Beachbody? And what did you feel like after, even if it's been one week that you've been in, in it, if you're a you know, really new coach, something changed, you feel different. So, um, just take, take one minute to do that and share in the chat box if you'd like. Guys, these are great. And again, these are going to really be helpful for the next step, which is writing your tagline. Um, and I, I don't know who it was, but my, I think it was Melissa, Melissa Hales. My coach had almost exactly the same thing to say, and she wrote a great tagline. And she had been saying her purpose was something totally different because she felt like that's what she had to say. Um, as a mom, she thought 
well, my goal is to make my kids. That was not motivating her. That wasn't driving her. And her mission and her tagline, which we'll go into in a second, is to um, help other moms realize they can have a purpose and passion beyond being a mom. They can have something else that's their own. I thought she just, her, her whole mindset around her business changed after she realized that. It was, it was a really cool thing to like see her come through. So um, awesome, guys. So get real. Um, kind of a continuation of what we just did. List everything you've ever gone through that's created a negative emotion in, in your life, no matter how big or small, from the time you can remember as a child to now. So loss of a loved one, abuse, neglect, high expectations, uh, pressure to be put, put on you to be a certain way. Maybe you are pressured to do a certain career path or take a certain job, go to a certain school, bully, disorder, a breakup, whatever it may be. Write out a list of things that you've gone through. Um, and you can totally share that in the chat. I do encourage that. Um, but just take one minute to do that as well. Okay. Um, awesome guys. Thank you for sharing all this. This is, this, I know it's really hard to do, but like Carly said earlier, if you start sharing with your team and the safe space, it's, you're going to be much more comfortable sharing on your page. Um, especially things that are really, really tough. I had a coach who after this call, she shared a very vulnerable story. She was uh, abused as a child. She's not close to any of her family because of it. And she never shared that and she was really timid to do it. And she woke up to 80 messages the next day. And yes, she hit success club. Yes, she signed more people and that's all great. But she said she couldn't believe the outpouring of support and people who also went through the same thing and they feel like they had someone to talk to about it. And she's like, I'm helping people way beyond fitness and health. They don't sign up with us for Shakeology. They don't sign up with us for a fitness program. They sign up to get over things like that, to connect with someone who's gone through something they've gone through for the community. I think that's truly what Beachbody offers versus so many other companies. Our programs are amazing. Yes, Shakeology is incredible. But when it comes down to it, I don't think that's why people join. I think it's for the community and for all of this, like all, everything you guys are getting through. If it wasn't for Beachbody, you might not have gotten through that. So really hold on to that when we write your taglines. Um, okay, so the tagline pretty much is going to be a short summary of what you went through, that like defining moment that made you say, I need to make a change, I need to make a difference, and how Beachbody's helped you, and basically your mission. So mine, pretty simple, but I just couldn't put it into words until I watched this call, um, was right down here, helping people find their true passion in life and realizing they don't have to settle. I've been an actor for a long time, but for me, um, it was more of a, um, I just love doing it. It, it fills me up, but I don't need to get paid to do it. And honestly, the second I put that pressure on myself to be a professional actor, which I technically am. I didn't enjoy it as much. And I just felt like I had to do it because that's what my family did. That's what I'm good at. That's what I just thought I had to do. And I felt like something was missing for years. And that's why when I dove into Beachbody, I just, I'm more fulfilled than I've ever been ever. Um, and I see so many people in nine to fives and in jobs they hate. And I hate seeing that and knowing that this can truly, truly replace that. That's my passion now is helping people realize that they don't have to settle. Like I said before, another example before you guys write yours is my friend said, helping moms realize they can have a passion beyond being a mom. That was a huge revelation for her. Uh, she was saying that her mission is to help moms stay at home with their kids, but then she realized, yes, that's part of it, but there's such another part to that. I think a lot of moms struggle with that. A lot of my moms on my team that I work with struggle with that. So 
Um, I think that's, that's a huge one. So take a minute and it's not going to be perfect. You're going to tweak it. So don't feel like, Oh my gosh, I only have a minute to write my tagline and then it's done. You'll have totally, you know, you can do this after the call, but just start to like brainstorm. A lot of you guys already kind of wrote a great tagline. So if you already shared some things, go back and look what you shared. Cause some of them are already really, really great. These are great guys. And trust me, when I like first, I took me like half an hour at least to get the wording right. So, um, you know, totally, these are awesome starts though. And I just shared the one down here because I think a lot of people, especially if you've gone through a lot, um, my coach Jasmine um, very openly shared her story. And it was one of the most um, heart-wrenching things. I'd, I've never had a coach have uh, as much happen to someone as, as my one coach has. And she said she has not let it define her though. She's totally so independent. She's just she's blossoming and she's going to take off of this business. And she said, it's because helping her mission is helping people realize they don't have to be defined by what happened to them. And I just thought that was amazing. So I wanted to share that one because I know a lot of people might connect with that. Um, and obviously you want to make it yours, but if, if a lot of these resonate with you, totally write them down. Again, I'm going to share this with you guys so you can, um, you can have these and kind of brainstorm them. But this tagline, pretty much you're going to use this every time you're thinking about posting, you're thinking about who you want to talk to. That's your mission. You know, so again, you're not just posting workouts, you're not just posting recipes, you're posting to speak to that kind of person and, and share that hope or that inspiration to them. So um, from here, you're going to write your rough draft post is what we called it. And I'm only going to read two just because for time's sake, but I, there's like four different examples that are amazing here. And this is what I love about Josh is literally someone told them, like this scenario from he had people volunteer and, and this one girl, she was in an abusive relationship and she started to eat her emotions. He literally took that and wrote this post on the spot, like spoke it out loud. I was, I was like amazed. It's such a cool skill set that I wish I had. It takes me forever to write a good post or speak it out loud. Um, so it's just really cool watching him do that. But I'm going to read this one and one more, and then um, you know you guys should work on this after after this call. And I do recommend making a post or doing a live video. And again, I know it's scary, so if you have to do it step by step and get the courage up, totally understand that. But the sooner you pull that band aid, the better it's going to be, and you're just going to feel really relieved. I promise. Um, so I am someone from this scenario. I was in an abusive relationship for many years. During that time, I gained a lot of weight. I lost my confidence. I started devaluing myself. I stopped caring. I started worrying about uh, more about what everyone else thought of me instead of taking care of myself. But there was a point when I realized I either had to make a change or I was going to be stuck in this life forever. And I decided that I was going to do the work no matter what it took to fix myself. It didn't happen overnight. It happened one day at a time but it happened one day at a time because I was willing to invest in myself and I decided that I was worth it. Are you someone that feels maybe like I did, that you're no longer valuable, that you're no longer worth it, but you want to make the change? Would you comment below or shoot me a message? And I would love to talk to you about helping you get started and making the changes that you want to make. I'm here for you and I want to help. That's like a, you know, a call to action post versus summer slim down challenge. <laughs> he talked about a couple other, um, ones and we've all done it. I've done it a lot, uh, fit for fall and new year, new you I'm not saying those are wrong, but now your challenge group names will change a little bit too. If you're thinking about this and I have an example of that as well. 
So another example was someone who was in mountains of debt. They lost their home, lost their cars due to medical bills. Man, times were rough. We were piled full of debt and we had so many medical bills. Not sure how many of you have had a family member go through a tragedy, but so many medical bills get piled up. We lost our homes, we lost our cars, and I don't even like to share stuff like this on social media, but I have to because I know that there is someone else, else out there who is maybe stuck in the spot I was stuck in. And you might need hope and you might need to know that there is something better for you, that you can come back and you can build the life of your dreams. For the last few years, I've been working from home with family, with my family, doing something that I love and that I'm passionate about and have been able to start making steps and making changes towards paying off that debt. And I can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. Are you someone who's been looking for the light at the end of the tunnel? I'd love to help you get started. Could you just comment below or shoot me a message and we can chat about how we can get help get you started? Again, he wrote this literally off the cuff, so no edits or anything. So of course they're not like perfect, but I just, I was amazed by what he did. So the next two, um, oh, and he said like versus this woman, this woman have to be a mom, mom bosses wanted. Like, again, that's great, but so many coaches do that. I see that all the time. And so to be different, to really speak to someone you really, really want to speak to, I just think this is so much more powerful. Um, and then there's a couple others. There's an example of someone who, um, her, her um, tagline is taking, helping people realize they can take control of their life, gaining control over a disorder of some, of some sort. Um, I'm not going to read it out loud now. You guys can totally read it later. I definitely recommend reading it. It's awesome. Um, but from this example, he used, um, he used this as an example to create new challenge group names. So instead of um, you know, fit for fall or slow down for summer, taking your life back support group. Um, so I want you guys to take one minute and just think of the struggle that you've gone through and your tagline that you sort of are developing now and write out, um, a share in the chat box, a couple challenge group names. I just have one for the health bet called uh, falling in love with yourself. And it's because, um, I know for me, I, I struggled a little bit with eating and just, um, judging myself and self image like a lot of girls do. And, truly learning to love myself at every step of the way and teaching my challengers to do that is so important to me and personal development is a huge part of my challenge groups now. So I'm like kind of going with that theme from now on. Um, so share some challenge group ideas that you can come up with in, in a couple minutes. I love these moms getting their groove back. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, guys, these are great. And write these down. I think these should definitely be your next challenge group names because see if someone saw like another summer, summer slim down challenge event versus moms getting their groove back, you know, or happiness project or making time for me. I just think that's so much more eye catching too. Um, as from a sales point. So, um, okay. And then there's another example here too. So you guys again can look at that so your next action step, we're not going to do this now, but from your tagline, when you're developing it is to write your rough draft post based on your pain point moment for why you started Beachbody, the things that you guys were sharing before. It's going to take time. I personally, again, recommend speaking it out loud first. I, this is just how I work. If I go to sit down and write a post, nothing comes out of my head. I'm like so blank. But if I just walk around and I just try to speak it out loud, um, into a, you know, into a voice memo and then transcribe it, it just, it's just so much more natural. Whenever you're posting, you should be like you're speaking to your best friend. It shouldn't be perfect grammar. It shouldn't be perfect because you're speaking to your best friend. So always think of that. And like Carly said, I know it's so scary to share this, but the one there could be one person whose life you changed so much, and that could become your rock star coach. I've seen it happen. It's crazy. So you just never know. You might put yourself out there one day, and maybe only one person really resonates with it, but that's the person who really needed that and who all of a sudden becomes one of your rock stars. You just really, truly never, never know. 
So from here, um, this is an email that he created. So after you, someone messages you or they comment or they like, and you message them asking if they, um, you know, just about their story and, and connecting with them, forming the relationship and you invite them to a group. Um, I loved this layout and I've been using this for about a week now consistently. Um, my team, we really do a lot of qualifying questions after we ask someone if they're interested in a, in a challenge. We ask them like, you know, why are you interested? What are your goals? What's your current routine like? What are your, um, what's your nutrition like? Do you struggle with portion control? Why is this your goal? How would you feel if you accomplish that? What could you do 10 pounds less than you, that you can't do now? I really try to dig deep. If someone doesn't, if they just give me surface answers, I don't even send them an informational email because they're going to say no. The price is always going to be an objection if they're not giving you a real reason for why they want to do something. And I love this. I think this goes so hand in hand with that. And so usually we send out informational emails after they've given me all those answers. I'll send them an email based on what program I think would be best for them. But I love this. So he says, I'd love to help you. Let me share with you the few things I had to do to make the changes. One, personal development. Two, take time every day to work out and eat healthy. Three, I had to surround myself with people that were going to keep me on track and committed to those things. Here's the thing about my group. Number one, we're all going to go through a book together that's going to help us get our mind right. Health and fitness is 90% emotional, 10% physical. Can you get over the emotional battle in your head to actually press play and do the thing? I provide the compound effect PDF, which I can give you guys if you don't have it, um, in all my groups. I really, really, really encourage my challengers to do the compound effect because we all know that it's all about your mindset. So, and I notice such a difference between those who actually do, and they usually end up becoming really good coaches too. And number two, you're going to get a workout plan. It's all workout. It's a workout that you can do from home. You don't have to drive to a gym and it takes about 30 minutes. Number three, you're going to get a specific meal plan that comes with a very specific superfood supplement that I use every day. It fuels my body and gives me what I need. Number four, you'll be included in the support group where we all hold each other accountable. Now, here's the thing. You could join a gym membership. Are you going to have support? Nope. You can get a personal trainer. You'll see them one hour out of the day, but what do you do for the other 23 hours? By the way, a cheap personal trainer will run you roughly $600 a month. My group, it's $140 for the first month, $130 after that, less if you sign up as a discount coach. Um, and again, this has been working pretty well and I like it cause it's kind of vague and I just feel like the more info you give people, the more confusing it can be and the more apt they are to come up with excuses or objections and nitpick certain things. Um, let me just look at the chat really quick. Yeah, I'll show you the PDF too. Um, oh great. Do you have, you have the PDF Carly? If, if not, I'll totally share it with you guys. Um, Okay. I'll share that with you as well. Um, okay. So change the way you think of posting from now on, when you guys wake up in the morning, I want you to think today I am Megan. I am a motivator and a mentor who I'm helping other women realize that they can, they don't have to settle and help I'm helping them find their passion, whatever your tagline is. I know it seems silly, but it's kind of a Tony Robbins thing too. I've been doing his priming exercise and he like, has you like push your fist in the air and like do all these physical things and like I've been saying, like, I'm a millionaire coach and doing all these silly things that no one sees me do except for myself. But it so makes a difference in how your day goes. I swear, I'm a huge believer in doing personal development first. I don't look at my phone. I don't look at my messages. I just get my mind right. And so since this, I've been saying my tagline. And it just gets me so much more excited to actually invite. Because we all know there are days we just don't want to talk to anyone. We don't want to do calls. We don't want to invite. But if you do that and you start off your day with that tagline and visualize it, make a vision board of that tagline, it's just going to be so much more inspiring for you. And you're going to be like, that's my purpose, you know, especially when you're nervous to post. Um, you're no longer limited to workout ideas or meal prep. What could you say today to help women take charge of their life or whatever your tagline is? That's just one that a lot of my uh, coaches have used. When you start speaking the language of your ideal customer, your ideal coach, you start actually speaking about what people give a crap about. <laughs> you start speaking to the person you want to attract and help. Sorry, hold on one second. My dad, he's like a child. Okay. Um, uh, so how to incorporate this into daily posting. So um, there was a workshop at Summit with um, Amy Silverman and Bonnie Engel that I thought was amazing. And I know there was two other coaches that did it as well. And it's just a great topic as I'm posting. And they, they, one thing they said was your Facebook page should be a constant sneak peek. Now, it shouldn't be 
obviously you guys know like just Shakeology and workouts all the time, nothing like that, but dig in the life of a coach, whether you're full-time or not, it should just be kind of a sneak peek into your life. And he broke it down um, from Monday to Friday. And I don't recommend obviously copying and pasting and doing every single thing um, all the time exactly like this, but just giving you ideas of how to incorporate your tagline, your rough draft post into your every day, because you don't want to just give your whole dramatic story every day. That's going to be a little too much. Um, so for example, a, a Monday, motivational Monday, uh, a motivational thought or story about someone else that's been through what you've been through. For all my women out there who've struggled with whatever it is, do me a favor and post your favorite motivational quote below. Transformation Tuesday, get real, tell your story. It could be a physical transformation, emotional, mental, spiritual. You're not limited to just physical. Uh, Wednesday, Woman Crush Wednesday. Huge shout out to this woman right here who struggled with whatever it is, who's kicking it, and I'm so proud of her. I would highlight a challenger, a coach on your team, um, upline, downline, doesn't matter, a uh, success partner, whatever it is. Throwback Thursday, get real with your story, share your rough draft posts, so share your really deep post or a live video, which I highly recommend. Flex Friday, I can't believe five years ago I couldn't stand to look in the mirror and now I'm here showing my guns. I just thought that was cute when he did that. <laughs> so I'm just an example of like different kind of ways you can, you can share your story um, and not so much of a here's my entire dramatic story way. Um, I also recommend going live once a week at least to share some of maybe your biggest tips on living through whatever your struggle was. You've, you're, you, even, even though you might not be fully through it and some part of it will always be with you, you're here for a reason and Beachbody has helped you get through it in some way. So sharing those tips. Um, and so, yeah, this is an example about what personal, how personal development has, has helped him. So you guys can read through that just for time's sake. I'm going to, um, going to not read through it, but it's basically how you can introduce personal development into a live video and invite someone. Um, once a month, again, share a full-blown story and give top tips on living through your struggle and give a big closer invite to people to sign up for your next group. Not every post should have a call to action. I totally don't think that. But when you're doing your full-blown story, I think they should um, most of the time. I guess it depends on the post. Um, understand where your values line up with other people's values. You're not limited to working out, eating healthy. Although that's a big part of your process, you need to find your own specific voice and language. Um, but what if I don't have a deep story? I hear a lot of people say that, um, but you need to stop saying that because you're creating competition when you say that. Your story does not have to be as powerful or as painful as someone else's. It's your story, so to you, it's your pain. As long as you share your story, you find your niche. The second you try to become someone else's story, you create competition and you're done for. Do not compete. Find you, who you are, what you do, and you dominate that, and don't worry about anyone else. Even if you've just lost two pounds or even if you didn't lose two pounds and you stayed the same, but you feel better, you feel healthier, you feel stronger, you feel more confident, that's an incredible transformation in itself. So again, I want you guys to think about what did you feel like before Beachbody, write down those, those actual feelings and what you felt like after. And he, Josh shared this and I loved it because he said, you know, I was a scrawny guy. Um, I was never overweight. I was never obese. I didn't have this dramatic transformation, but I was made fun of for being, being, um, skinny. I was made fun of people. Um, his older brother teased him, said not nice words that I won't repeat because I hate that word, <laughs> but I just wrote down what he said. Um, so he said, combine that with school bullying. I didn't feel good health and fitness and getting stronger helped me be more confident and helped me feel like a man. It feels so good to have that confidence and feel like I can protect my kids. I can pick up three kids, run them out of a burning building. Just that shift in confidence is all the difference in the world for me. So you might think like, oh, well, I'm just like, if you say if you're a skinny girl or a skinny guy, like I don't have any weight to lose. Like that's not a great story. But he wasn't confident. I know a lot of people who just aren't confident in their body, whether they have weight to lose or not. Um, they might have weight to gain and they're not confident. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be a weight loss story. And I know that's what Beachbody focuses on a lot, but he totally got all this confidence and feels like a, like a man now because of fitness and what it's done for him. And I just thought that was a really cool example. Um, and then one other thing um, that I promise I'm done because <laughs> I've talked a lot is um, find the emotion. It's easy for us to get tripped up on the actual event that happened. So if you, um, if you went through an abusive relationship or if you um, just had something, uh, a disorder, it doesn't necessarily mean the person you're going to connect with had the same exact thing happen to them. What's, the, what's really key is you felt the same emotion after that event. So um, for example, 
actually I use this in, in the next slide. So I'll go, I'll go into that in the next slide. But what did everything that happened to you do emotionally to you? That's the one thing you really want to hit on. People may have different specific stories, but the same emotion because of it. The act doesn't matter as much as the emotion you felt after that matters and unites people. Talk about the emotional side of your story. If you can't legally talk about specific details, if you're like wanting to quit your job and your boss is on Facebook following you, um, no one can legally stop you though from talking about being depressed, being overweight, etc. You can share the way you used to feel and what you feel like now, even if you can't share the specific incident, if you have to, you know, save some people. Um, so my coach, Andrea, she was the one who said she didn't have a story because she has a, um, a very supportive husband who, who takes care of her. She had a, a good job, but she, and she has two gorgeous, now three, she just had a baby two weeks ago, gorgeous children. She's like, I felt like I didn't want to complain, but I just was so unsatisfied in my job. And I just, just didn't like what I was doing. Um, and I said, that's expand on that. That's so many people feel like that. And she's like, I was bored. I was restless. I started to become pessimistic because of her coworkers. She said she started to become negative because of them helpless. She felt stuck. She felt unfulfilled and like something was missing and incomplete. I'm like, that is amazing. Not that's not amazing. I'm sorry that you felt that way, but so many other people feel that way. And because she finally put it into words and I said, stop saying you don't have a story. You do. Every single person does more people will actually relate to that than an extreme example. So just write out every emotion that you felt from whatever it is that you've, you've gone through. And to kind of expand on the specific event versus emotion, for example, someone not being able to conceive versus someone who was neglected as a child, totally two different scenarios, right? But they both might have struggled with anxiety, with confidence and self-doubt because of those experiences. Your story, you might have lost 70 pounds and you might have had blood, high blood pressure in the past, but your actual passion is helping women become confident to get rid of anxiety and self-doubt. You might actually connect with someone who doesn't even have any weight to lose, but they have no confidence in themselves. They're weak. They don't feel strong. Um, they have self-doubt. So it's not so much the actual event or the weight loss. It's how you felt because of whatever happened to you. And he talked about how your tagline is like your trunk of your tree. That's going to be your main focus and your main like drive. And then the branches are going to be everything you post about that has to do with that. So it can totally include workouts. It can totally include meal prep um, and motivation and things like that, but also tips to deal with whatever you were going through. Um, examples of how you've gotten through it, people who've helped you, um, recognition of people who've helped you, things like that, challengers, all that kind of stuff ties into it. So you're no longer just limited to workouts and um, meal plans and meal prep and everything. And I, I love doing workouts. I still do live videos with workouts almost every day on my page. So definitely a big supporter of it. But ever since this call, I've definitely branched out and started sharing a little bit more um, of my actual story in live video, especially. So your action call for this is to watch that video um, take your own notes uh, on the video, write down what your pain point is um, the mo for the moment that you joined Beachbody or what it became for you. Write your tagline, work on that for a little bit, and write your rough draft post based on that. And then write out a week worth of posts for the format provided that in the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or something similar, or just whatever you come up with. You might come up with something way better than that um, based off of this pain point and purpose that you've discovered through this call. Um, and the point is also, you don't have to relive, constantly relive what happened to you, but if you are vulnerable and you're open enough to share it, you're going to help so many more people than you can even imagine. Trust me. Um, it's scary, but the second I actually was really honest about why I started P90X, so many people were like, oh my gosh, I'm going through that right now. Like I need an escape too. And I was like, oh, I'm finally honest with myself. It wasn't because I wanted to get strong and because I was hit a plateau. It was because I needed to escape. So just be honest with yourself and your network. And I promise you're going to have such better conversations. You're going to start to find your rock stars to join your team. Okay, I'm done. That was a lot. <laughs> I'll stop my chair. Does anyone have any questions? Girl, that was so good. I Yay! took so many no's that's awesome and I think that this is like something that everyone needs to hear you know like how to share your story how to connect I love this stuff about emotions because sometimes I even get tripped up I'm like well not everyone has a loss you know not everyone's lost somebody and so it like just completely resonated with me when you said the emotional part 
Mm-hmm. That was so good. Yay, I'm glad. That was like a huge, it's funny you said that because I felt like I said it so much in the last one I, I presented, but that was the biggest trip up for most people. Exactly. They're like, but this person might not have gone through that. And it's like, that doesn't matter. It's how you felt after it. You know, that's why people started eating. You know what I mean? Like overeating and all this stuff. It's because of how they feel. So that's, that's awesome. I love it. Totally yeah. love it. Um, do you guys have any questions for Megan? Um, anything you want to ask about this topic or anything? Perfect. Okay. Y'all sure? Um, Megan, thank you. That was seriously awesome. And then you'll just share with me the, um, the compound effect thing that you, Oh yeah. I'll share that too. The slides I just put in the chat box. I can also share those with you, of course. Cool. Um, Actually, you know what? I have the compound effect like right here. So I'll share that with you guys. Okay. I'll, that's post, like, I'll post it in my team page for everyone. It really makes such a difference. I feel like with challengers, if they really, it's hard for them to add another thing to their day, but the challengers I have who do, you're grooming them to be coaches. They're literally doing everything you're going to teach them to do as a coach already. So um, it's just that extra component. Perfect. Yeah. Girl, that was so good. Well, thank you guys so much for getting on. Um, I'll post the recording and all this info in our team page. And yeah, thank you so much again, Megan. Bye guys. Thank you for having me. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Okay. Bye.